here's the problem. I don't have a socket that fits in there or goes around that one. So we gotta get creative here. So I just hope it starts. <laughs> you sound bad, I'm not thinking you can't work on a bike. I'm not a mechanic. Shoot. Don't worry, it's not coffee, it's water. So day two, still won't start. Oh God, oh, damn it, what the fuck? You gotta be Quack. kidding me. Ugh. I don't know what's going on. I tried calling the dealer, called Rottweiler Performance, trying to figure it out. Now it's getting down to the basics. Fuel in the gas tank, but I don't know if it's getting fuel. It's got power, battery's been charging all winter, every light works, so on and so forth. There's nothing weird on the dash. Airbox, I need to check for sure, see if there's anything clogging it, which I doubt. But spark plugs, that's something I think I can do. Now, if you've watched previous videos of me putting on an exhaust, I'm not really a mechanic, but I like tinkering on stuff. So if it's a way for me to learn, I'll do it. Let's give it a shot. So now that I got the bike inside, it's getting to these spark plugs. So I'm gonna have to tear the seat off, plastics off, probably this piece, just to get there for two bolts, making sure I can get down and check those. Now let's see, because I don't want them gummed up, I don't want them nasty. I'm gonna see if I can either clean them up and get it running, or I might have to go through and get new spark plugs. But that still might not solve the fuel issue. So we'll see. While I'm here, I might as well take off the air box too, just in case. Everything looks super clean to me. That's not the issue. So now that we're down to this point here, we can see that here's spark plug one and two, or top and bottom or whichever way it works. So I need to get this assembly off with two bolts on either side. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. That's not gonna fit through, is it? Uh-oh. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, there it is. Oh, I'll shop tall in there because I know Dumbass is gonna drop a bolt for sure. Uh oh. Knew it. Where did that go? What the hell? That thing vanished into thin air? Oh, I see it. That's convenient. Now I'm really gonna drop it. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, hit the ground. Now at this point, I should be able to unplug at least this first one, and pull this out, maybe. Is this gonna need some persuasion or what? Just some blue scotch tape. Outside, outside, inside, inside, I won't mark. So here's the problem. I don't have a socket that fits in there or goes around that one. So we gotta get creative here. Do you have a uh, spark plug cleaner at all? Cleaner, no. Oh, 
What the hell? Well, no spark plug cleaner or spark plug socket. So on to the next. Running out of time in the day. Gotta go pick up the daughter. Gonna go shopping here really quick. See what Harbor Freight has. So no deep sockets for spark plugs at Harbor Freight. One more try, Home Depot. If not, to the dealer we go. Well, no spark plug socket, so spark plugs aren't coming out. I tried everywhere, Harbor Freight, Home Depot, calling anybody else who sells any bit of tools, even AutoZone. And you'd think AutoZone would have something, but I digress. Called the dealer and said, yeah, they need to get it in today, no, or tomorrow, so they can see it by maybe the end of next week. If not, we're looking at the end of April. So, on to plan B.